From the cold depths of space, the lush green colors of plants are the most prominent sign of life on our planet. Living plants are the foundation of the global ecosystem. They use the sun's energy to provide oxygen for all life forms of Earth. And they convert atmospheric carbon dioxide into sugars and other polymers, which are used as a food source and as a fuel for human activity. Scientists at the frontier of biological research are using a combination of advanced molecular and genetic techniques to learn how plants grow. A high magnification view of a growing stem reveals a specialized structure called the meristem. This small group of cells is responsible for controlling the rate of growth and for the formation of new leaves and flowers. Here, new plant tissue is formed as the cells grow and divide. Cell division is a multi-step process controlled by a complex molecular network. It still holds a few secrets, even though 30 years have passed since the initial discovery of the genes involved. Cell division begins when the chromosomes begin to condense. As the DNA is compacted, the nucleus breaks down and the chromosomes are arranged at the center of the cell. This arrangement is made possible by the attachment of the chromosomes to a rigid structural element called the spindle. After alignment, the spindle is contracted, generating a force that pulls the chromosomes apart. When the chromosomes have been separated, a new cell wall begins to form at the location of the division site. It is constructed from materials that are transported to this site from other places in the cell. After cell division is completed, the two new cells can continue to elongate and divide independently. Scientists are currently focused on the control mechanism that determines whether a cell will divide or not. The latest research has shown that plant cells committed to division show periodic activation of a large portion of their DNA, and that this process is controlled by at least two periodic regulatory proteins. The process by which these two proteins bind to specific regions of the DNA and modulate gene activity is under intense investigation. Another location where cell division is occurring is in the root system, below ground. The ends of the roots contain meristems like those in the stems above. This allows the roots to elongate and penetrate further into the ground, to locations where water is in greater abundance. Plants can increase the efficiency of water uptake through the formation of lateral roots that branch off of the primary root. The formation of a lateral root begins deep within the root tissue, where a root cell is activated to form a new meristem. This activation occurs at regular spacing along the root, resulting in a highly structured pattern of lateral root formation. Part of this has been revealed by recent breakthroughs which have detailed the molecular signals that initiate lateral root growth. The experiments focused on an important chemical messenger, a plant hormone called auxin, which controls cell growth and division. Auxin is delivered through the stem to the root meristem. Once inside of the cells, it enters the nucleus and binds to a receptor protein complex. the activated receptor then interacts with a second complex that consists of a transcriptional activator protein and a repressor protein. The repressor protein is destroyed, liberating the transcriptional activator and allowing it to turn on gene activity. Through this mechanism, auxin activates several genetic pathways that stimulate the cell cycle, inducing the repeated rounds of cell division observed in all meristems. Human civilization has been dependent on agricultural plants for millennia, and our continued reliance on plants, both as a food source and as producers of natural and renewable energy, is assured. Scientific endeavors give us the opportunity to gain a deep understanding of these essential resources. In a world faced with the challenges of population growth, urbanization, and the effects of climate change, Improvements in agriculture will be important for securing the future.
WVIB is dedicated to this cause.